Hey, I'm Erica Olson, host of Music Minute, and tonight we are at The Echo, just before Open Mike Eagle hits the stage. Thanks for joining us, Mike. Yeah, thanks for having me. So we've now caught you on the tail end mm -hmm. of your tour of the Robert Taylor Holmes Tour. Mm -hmm. Thanks for saying tour twice. Yes. People try to remove one tour, no. I paid attention. So give us a history lesson on what it was and what happened to it. Uh, so the Robert Taylor Holmes was a set of Chicago housing project buildings that housed anywhere from 10,000 to 30,000 people, depending on whether you trust official census numbers <laughs> or not. And it was built in the 50s, and then uh, it was demolished in the early 2000s. What was your relationship to and experience with those homes? So my aunt uh, had an apartment in the Robert Taylor home. So all of my closest cousins, aunts, auntie, uh, uncles, they all stayed in the Robert Taylor homes. I have a connection to that place through the memories and just experiences. Walking away, repeated all we can say. We start with the hug, and it's a public display. Like it does in the day, at it, we plugged in the way, at it, I'm running away. Cause the doors was closed, and it never was closed. So I'm never exposed when I'm held up a rose, and I'm telling the nobody my skeleton shows with this elephant nose and this pelican bones. Watch how I carry it home, and the story it goes. There's a spork in the road, and we got to the bar, but then the doors was closed. And and it never was closed, even when never it snowed. Every night it was there, either there or a show. Every answer was there, every question is no. Never questioned before, so we guessing it's home. So we guessing it's home, so we guessing it's home. So we guessing it's home, Rick's body can't say. Everybody's secrets inspire all of my scenes. I write in all of my fantasies and I die in all of my dreams. My superpowers are like a poem. I spun around in circles on the globe. So who the hell could ever feel at home? I done told some movie shit that sounded like a poem. I spun around in circles on the globe. So who the hell could ever feel at home? Whoop, we got somebody coming through. All good? All good. That was amazing. <laughs> we'll pick that up again. That is incredible. Okay. And the song you're performing on Music Minute. It's called Feel at Home, and there's a parenthetical part that says, how could anybody feel at home? What story about the entire story are you trying to tell with that song? That song focuses on erasure, the psychological feeling of feeling like you can depend on a place being there, and then you get there one day and suddenly it's just closed, and there's no explanation. For some people, that makes them wonder about gentrification. I wasn't necessarily directly trying to uh, go that far with it, but that's part of the door that's open when you start speaking about those kind of issues. Pausing for a second, do you want us to cross the street or flip around? Okay, pausing. It's danger, there. love it. Oh, no way danger. yeah, <laughs> mean streets, walking backwards in Echo Park. <laughs> All right, so we've got your album artwork here. Mm -hmm. Who did this artwork? Uh, a guy named McKay Feltz. I um, presented him with the idea of having these project buildings be personified as people by adding, you know, heads and arms. And I showed him a photo of these kids playing in front of the Robert Taylors in like the 60s. And he kind of modeled this uh, from that and added the, you know, the anthropomorphism and just really, he just knocked it out of the park. We live in a space that should have never existed. We used to the taste of a human in space. We grew in the room, only a few could replace it. And Doyle's was closed, I'm avoiding my nose. It smells like if you imagine you boiled a rose. And the oven is on, and the coil's exposed. So we pull in the door like we should have before. And now we're trying to deal with heat that we couldn't absorb. And the story it goes, there's a spork in the roll, and we got to the bar, but then the doors is closed, and it never was closed, even whenever it snowed. Every night it was there, I did there with a show. Every answer was there, every question is no, never questioned before. So we guessing it's home, so we guessing it's home, so we guessing it's home, so we guessing it's home. Rick's body can't say everybody's secrets is by all of my scenes. I write in all of my fantasies, and I die in all of my dreams. My superpowers I maintain, I take control of my scenes. See what I can't say, I can't say all that I've seen, I done told Some goofy hits that sounded like a poem I spun around in circles on the globe So who the hell could ever feel at home? 
to this album based on what you're trying to kind of expose and almost get off your chest? One of the things I was hoping to accomplish was to kind of humanize the people in these situations. And I feel like that's kind of what people are taking away too. They're, they're thinking about all of the buildings that have gotten knocked down throughout time. In the story, the public policy story of public housing, that's been a thing, especially in the last 10 or 15 years with the policymakers deciding that these places were mistakes. Right. Um, and so then they're, you know, they decide to tear them down and redevelop or whatever. Um, but I think a lot of that is done without really thinking about the humans that live there and what happens to them and, and what it means to have a home. In some cases, a home has been around for generations yeah. uh, and it's to have that erased because society feels like it was a mistake or an eyesore or something that they let get out of control. 